speedrunning is the act of completing a game or part of a game as fast as possible. This can involve simply beating the game's story or in the case of there being post-game, uh, it can also include beating uh, the entire game 100% through. When I want to speedrun something, I usually practice for a few days uh, and then when I feel like I'm ready, I'll sit down for about an hour and a half to three hours and I'll just try to get the time I want. Um, and sometimes it takes multiple days to get it. Um, you don't always get it on the first day, uh, but that's kind of how it is a lot of the time. You just, got, you just have to keep trying. What are some of the challenges of speed running and being a speedrunner and such? There's technical challenges, mm -hmm. um, getting equipment, um, because you need it. You need a really good controller if you have like a very technical game. You need obviously a capture card mm -hmm. if you're on console. Um, if you're on emulator, then you need a good keyboard. Like a laptop usually isn't good enough. I mean, you could do it, but like. Like if you want to be top level, you have to invest quite a bit of money and not, and you have to be, you have to go through the discord and really pick a lot of people's brains. Each game has a discord, which you can find through the speedrun.com website. So that's the first thing I tell people when they learn a game, I said to, to make the technical aspects easier, get into that discord. At say what version do I need? What equipment do I need? What capture cards do you guys recommend? That's the first challenge. That's just the te technical aspects. And then of course there's the challenges of practicing and learning a video game. Doing it efficiently is the most important thing and that's where you need more equipment almost for like save states and emulators. And it's all about figuring out, okay, how efficient can I be with my practice? So there's technical aspects, there's the getting good, and then there's the actual challenge of doing the runs live. It's it's very it's a different thing when you're trying to piece it all together because at a high level it's nerves are a big factor. When your hands start sweating and you need like a hand towel. Um, I just started using hand towel recently. Uh, your heartbeat, you have to learn to control your breathing. Because mm -hmm. if your heartbeat gets too high, your vision can get blurry, which is really bad when you have to use visual cues. There's there's so much that goes into making a, a good speed run. Um, and it, the main thing that it, it, it takes time and it's very easy to get hard on yourself. So there's there's the mental challenge as well. So this is my speed running my setup here. It's a little messy, but it works there's my face cam right there my computer my computer tower and yeah, that's my switch over there most of the time i'm speed running speed running on the computer on an emulator but sometimes uh i use the tv when i'm playing a switch game or something like that so yeah I believe speedrunning is a great talent that some people have. Running is an art form. It requires vast knowledge of the game. It requires patience and, of course, skill. Not just everyone can be a speedrunner. There is a site called speedrun.com, which is where um, all speedruns are uploaded pretty much, uh, and that's where you can find everyone's runs. Speedrunning is a challenge, but that's why I like it. It's not just a simple thing that anyone can do. You have to work towards being able to call yourself a speedrunner. A lot of people will call speedrunning a waste of time. I really enjoy speedrunning as a content medium for live streaming. Mm -hmm. If you have a game that has frequent breaks, it's really good for chatting with people. I 
I do my best speedruns when I have people in my chat, like, talking. You, you, you can't keep it focused on just the game. You have to, you know, there's, there's more to it. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's one of the fun things about speedrunning is, is getting to share that with the world. I also really enjoy the people that I've met, um, not just the, the viewers and the chatters, but other speedrunners in general, like mm -hmm. getting to meet people. It's, it's a very social thing. And, you know, I have a kind of a quiet life, so it's nice to throw in a couple hours of socializing. You know, all I got to do is just get the thing set up and turn it on. But you can't you can't have your happiness with speedrunning depend on getting runs because by definition, speedrunning is like mostly failure. It's like one out of five thousand. Like that's like a fraction of a fraction of a percent of success rate. Yeah. So you have to like take the small victories, see the progress, really split each like level or stage or trick, split them all up. Kind of like golf. Golf and speedrunning, I always said, have a, a lot of things in common. Golf being like, if you have one bad hole, you can still have a good round. Um, just fo just forget about the bad hole and, and think of every hole as a new chance to, to get a birdie or a par or something nice. And so yeah, the fun of it really is, is the sense of building a community online and meeting people. And I'm truly blessed to have, you know, a community of people who enjoy watching the streams and chatting with me about, you know, life things. I'm passionate about speedrunning. I believe speedrunning is a great talent that some people have. A talent that individuals over the age of 40 years old and live under their mom's basement have.